everyone, my name is Miss Kim from the Sonoma County Library and welcome to Book Read Alouds at Home. Get comfortable and get ready to listen to a chapter book a week read out loud to you. Feel free to check out the ebook from our library website, sonomalibrary.org, so you can follow along or just relax, close your eyes, and listen. Now, grab your pillow, grab your blanket, get comfortable. Snazzy Cat Capers, Chapter 2. Careful what you wish for. Back at her lair, Ophelia was forced to let Director Mew of the FFBI rant a bit. Number four was returned for not French braiding the hair that sprouted from his ears. Number nine was rejected for not fully appreciating my genius. Number 12 was sent back for throwing fart bombs in her sleep. How does one even throw farts, Ophelia? And what was wrong with Norman? He had no ear hair, he didn't withhold compliments, and no gas issues. In fact, I handpicked him. He was perfect for you. As Mew ranted, her face pinched and squashed in ways Ophelia had never seen it pinch and squash before. Ophelia knew Mew wasn't finished, and she knew better than to interrupt. Ophelia, 16 inventors in one year! It's a disgrace. Over the video conference call, Ophelia tried very hard to look very sorry. I'm sorry, Mew, but I work best alone. Mew tried to stay calm. You don't get it, do you? You can't just keep returning perfectly brilliant inventors. There was nothing wrong with Norman. I disagree. Besides his bug phobia, I put up with a lot of knock-knock jokes. But the biggest issue here, Ophelia pleaded, is that we all know I don't need a sidekick inventor and I don't want one. Since last year, official FFBI policy mandates that every agent has an inventor. There are no exceptions. What's the FFBI's motto, Ophelia? Perfect crimes. Precisely. But that's not easy. Our perfect crime rate is going down. Cats are getting caught. The Central Canine Intelligence Agency is definitely ramping up. As you know, they have a weird habit of marking their territory. They put their CCIA logo on everything. So we've been able to detect their presence all over the world. Every cat operative has to be more careful. And that means each of us needs a new partner in crime. Ophelia knew Mew was right about the increasing threat of the CCIA. Those dogs would stop at nothing to bring down the FFBI. They just didn't understand the genius and skill behind the work of the feline thieves. And even though they were not smart, Ophelia had never met any dog who was a match for her brains. She absolutely did not need an inventor to slow her down. Can we please talk about this later, Director Mew? I'm exhausted from last night's long journey. Would you like to see the lovely tiara I picked up in the Alps? I won the latest challenge. Oddly, Mew didn't look like she cared at all about Ophelia's new tiara. Lovely or not, I don't know why you're wasting your time in the Alps with that small challenge when you should be in Paris. Surely a measly tiara is not worth losing the big competition. Ophelia thought she must have misheard. Uh, pardonnez-moi? Paris? Every other agent, including Pierre, is a whole 48 hours ahead of you. Time is running out. Ophelia felt the, felt the blood rush from the tips of her claws into her gorgeous ears. Pierre? Her arch rival was getting ahead? She had no clue what Mew was talking about, but the thought of Pierre beating her at anything made her furious. Competition? Director, what do you mean? Why am I supposed to be in Paris? It's the ding dong, ding dong. <sighs> I apologize. Ophelia had to cut Mew off. Please excuse me for one moment. There's a very persistent and pesky stranger at my door. Mew smiled. Oh, please answer it. I should go. 
Call me if you have any questions, and remember, Ophelia, the eventer is mandatory. No refunds, no returns, no exchanges. Au revoir. End of chapter two. Thank you everyone for joining me. Check back for more read alouds. We'll be posting new videos every week. Be sure to check out the library website, sonomalibrary.org for more information and resources. We miss seeing you so much. Can't wait to see you again. And remember, make reading a part of every day, even if just a few minutes and have fun with it.